Pastor spoke about um, that rejoicing is a choice, and it definitely is because, you know, when you're hit with different things in your life, you either have the choice to be bitter or rejoice in it. And Pastor was talking about, you know, why not rejoice in it? Um, because ultimately those things are going to, you know, shape you uh, into the man of God that, uh, you know, he intends you to be. And uh, it kind of makes me think of kind of like a diamond. You know, a diamond is carbon, it's a lump of coal, it's it's an earth's crust, and earth's crust is one that's like, earth's crust is um, putting so much pressure on it. And I believe, you know, we're, each of us, we're like God's diamond. He's putting like pressure on us, but ultimately he's gonna make us into a beautiful diamond. So we're a lump of coal, and he's gonna make us into something beautiful. So I, I feel like, you know, to rejoice in it is just something, you know, that, that we should definitely do, you know. Be, be joyous about it because, um, you know, like I said, those things are going to make you stronger and also you can give that energy off, you can give that, that strength to other people. Like when you're joyous, um, and despite your circumstances, you can be joyous and, and, and give like a domino effect to other people, like your family and stuff like that. And, you know, ultimately they can, you know, see all oh, this person is rejoicing despite of his situation, despite of his circumstances. Like, why can't I do that? You know, I should, you know, try to be a better person because of that. So, you know, ultimately we get, you know, these different situations God presents us with and, you know, we'll become stronger. Well, what stuck out most in my mind was when the pastor said that um, for every affliction we have, the glory will be greater. And what... I kind of related that to is in the word where it says um, that God inhabits inhabits the praises of his people. When we give God praise, he comes looking for that person that's praising him. So if God comes looking for us, he comes and he lives and he dwells in our praise. And the darkness can't stay in that glory. So the more we praise him, the greater the glory because God is right there in the midst of uh, our praise. And that's how we get the victory, through our praise. The main message today was rejoice in the Lord always. And um, one of the things that I took notes on um, was that you're not a victim of your circumstance. And I feel like that's something that I always try and remind myself um, rather than living in stress in your situation uh, that I have to remind myself that I'm grateful and blessed for everything else in my life and um, so it was just reiterating he was just reiterating what I already do and, and that and for me I felt like I was empowered to to be that person to you know be thankful and um, to just not let stress overcome me this week at uh, Finisher's Church, we went over rejoicing, which was a bit of a revamp from a couple weeks ago when the pastor said that sometimes you go through a hard place and not to not to focus on the hard place that you're in and just remember that you're going through it and to rejoice with the happiness that you have and not to also talk about be happy for what you have right now instead of looking at what others have or what you're lacking just appreciate because even though you did wake up what seems like it's normal you weren't promised today well, today's message was about rejoicing and rejoicing in your time of trouble which was a good message because i just went through that and i overcame by rejoicing and not being weighed down by my, my troubles and my situation because it almost did get to me you know it, it i had a lot of pressure on me and everything but just to rejoice and, and, and let it out and not let any of my circumstances and situation weighed me down was just was just a, a just weight lifted off my shoulders. It, it, so the message today was perfect for what I was going through a, a few weeks ago, but it, it just brought everything to light for what I just went through, and I hope it blessed people as well as as well as it did me. I think that the message today, like most of the messages, are super relatable. Um, one of the things, or one of my personal mantras is that I'm blessed beyond circumstance and capable beyond measure. So today was one of those things that was able to touch me and recenter me on something that um, helps me get through things as a general rule. So being able to rejoice despite circumstance is extremely powerful because that's 
all we have. If we don't lean on our joy, if we don't lean on our faith, then we get consumed by the worldliness that is our life. And to combat that, you have to maintain that thought process that you are blessed beyond measure and capable beyond whatever circumstance you're facing. Just like the entire atmosphere. This is a, the season of Thanksgiving, and in all things you give thanks, and it was just really good to be in the presence of God and to hear the message that God sent to Pastor Pierre, um, that even through the valley, you give thanks, and um, even through the storm, you know that God is going to get you through it. He is not going to um, walk you in it without taking you out of it. Um, so. I'm thanking God for everything that He has given me, He has given my family, the good and the bad, um, and I'm thankful for this entire year and for finishers. Um, well, I really enjoyed um, how Pastor kind of just broke down some of the things that could be hindrances to us being able to rejoice in the Lord at all times because um, he basically made the distinction between joy and kind of happiness. Your circumstances don't determine uh, your level of joy. You can have a lot of adverse circumstances going on in your life, but you can still maintain your spirit of joy throughout it all. So that was an encouragement to me because um, a lot of times we get caught up in the day-to-day -day things that happen and we lose our joy little by little. And so that was just a reminder that I, it's a choice. I can choose joy or I can choose to be angry or miserable or whatever the situation may be. So I, I thank God for that today. And also the fact of um, remind, Pastor reminded us about our blessings and how blessed we are um, that we, our little troubles and momentary things mean nothing in the light of what others go through. So that was just a reminder of, um, you know, how we are to maintain joy in our lives and I, I really appreciate that today. I want to talk to you about just the, the sermon. Uh, we just had part two of rejoicing and it was such an honor uh, to just listen to Pastor Pierre and just kind of dive in a little bit deeper and uh, one of the things that stuck out to me the most was when he was saying uh, you have to get into a position where you can say hell no meaning you're telling hell no so the enemy is going to try to uh, come at you and try to steal your joy uh, try to um, cause you to believe that uh, there's so many other reasons that you can't rejoice but uh, having an overall spirit of rejoicing and choosing to rejoice and being able to say no uh, to hell and pretty much saying no to hell in your life and and just making that decision to rejoice, rejoice in the Lord and, and and secondly, I just wanted to also dive into the point uh, that Pastor made about how the weight of the glory is going to be so much heavier than the weight of the affliction or the weight of the trial that you're going through. So hang in there, make a decision to continue to, uh, to fight the good fight and rejoice regardless of what's going on in your situation and watch how God is just going to do tremendous things in your life. And again, if you're looking for a church home, Finish Church is a wonderful place to be. Get yourself out here next Sunday. I'll be saving you a seat.